And joining us now is Democratic Congressman Tim Ryan. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning. What's going to happen with this vote today in the House? Because we've heard that some Republicans are still on the fence about whether or not to uh, do this procedural vote towards repeal. Well, it's going to be interesting because some people want, in the Republican caucus, want a straight repeal, and others say repeal, and then at some point try to replace it uh, with something. And the Democrats are against any repeal at all. There's really no need to repeal this. Are there things we need to fix? Absolutely. Should we make sure people have their same doctor? And some of these other provisions that we didn't, quite frankly, get right, uh, but you're really throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You know, we have a lot of really good things in here, and there's no reason to repeal it other than the politics of the Republican Party at this point. So do you think it's going to pass today in the House? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I've been wrong at predicting the Republicans, uh, hmm. uh, what they can do here in Congress for a long time. You know, I think it's, it's interesting that they haven't even been able to pass budgets and now they're saying, well, we're going to now we're going to repeal Obamacare and we're going to replace it with something different when in the past they've not had success passing simple budgets. So it's going to be very interesting. I would yeah. say they would have the votes if they're going to bring it, but I'm not really sure. But the American yeah. people are going to get a big wake up. And they see the benefits that are being taken away from them now. Well, as you know, your Republican colleagues and including the Speaker Paul Ryan last night said that they are really working to repeal and replace simultaneously. I know you don't want Obamacare repealed, but if that's what happens, will you work with them on how to replace it? Look, if people are thrown off of their health care and, and that happens immediately, um, that's going to be a real problem that is going to need to be fixed. Um, but, you know, right now, this is a problem that they're creating on their own. That there's no need to do this. There's no need to repeal this. It has problems. Let's fix it. Why would you throw off 20 or 30 million people? Why would you exacerbate the opiate uh, epidemic plaguing our country? Why would you really put the screws to rural hospitals who have really bene benefited from this bill? You don't have to do that. That's, that's what's so mind-boggling about this entire thing. Yeah. There's no reason to repeal. Let's just fix it. Let's just fix the problems that it has right now. And, you know, they're going to come and ask for Democrats, and, and they're going to want our help. And in the last six years, they haven't lifted a finger to try to fix right. this Right. So thing are now. you going to help them? I mean, or is this payback time? I will. T no, I'm, not, I'm not here to pay anybody back. I'm not here to put my own agenda before the agenda of the American people or people who need health care. Look, if people in my district are thrown off their health care and they have nowhere else to go, I think we all have an obligation to try to uh, fix it, try to be a part of the solution. But... The reality of this is, and everybody should know, this does not need repealed. It needs fixed. And for them to do this is a political move that is going to damage a lot of people in the country. Now, if they're able to pass it and it passes the Senate and Trump signs it and people don't have health care, then I'm going to be willing to have a conversation because I want my constituents, the hundreds of thousands of people in who have benefited from this bill, the people who have mental health issues or addiction issues uh, or simply want preventative health care. I mean, if you, go to a, if you go to an emergency room in Ohio, there's still people there that don't have a primary care physician. How do we fix that? Repealing it for people who now do have a primary care physician is not the proper way to go about this. But I'll stand ready if my people have lost their health care. But until that day happens, I'm going to fight like hell to make sure that they do not repeal this thing because it's had so many positive benefits. Yeah. And very quickly, I just want to say that the Republicans...